Roxanne, if you would take roll, please. And if everyone would stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation. Let's pray. Good and gracious God, we come here tonight grateful that we get to come to serve this community in this place in relative comfort with heat and light. We are grateful for those who keep the utilities working, the water flowing, the trash picked up. We are grateful for those who keep this city running and for those who de devote volunteer time as well as paid time to do so. And good God, we are here too on behalf of those who are asked to do more and more with less and less. We know that this part of Kansas is experiencing the greatest poverty. That the backs of those on the economic margins are already breaking and we pray for hearts to flow with justice and mercy, with grace and dignity for those who are on those margins. We pray for jobs, for living wages, for safe and warm places to live. So guide us, good God. Oh God, guide us to serve your people with compassion and love, with gracious will, so that all may know the abundance of your grace and love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Has the council reviewed the agenda for this evening? Make a motion to approve the agenda. I would second that. All right, we've got a motion and a second. Do we have further discussion? All in favor, please raise your right hand. Motion carries, thank you. Now's the time for public comments. Do we have any public comments at this time? You do. <laughs> Come on up. Second of your time. I wanted to express my sincere thank you for all that you all did for the Veterans Day Parade. It was, it came off well. I don't know how you trained that eagle to fly down Madison like you did, but it's okay. I am not taking credit for it. I uh, do, do really appreciate it. Every time I went to one of the supervisors, to this council, you did everything you possibly could do, and I do appreciate it. And uh, see you next year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We want to thank you and the other veterans. Do we have any other comments at this time? Come on up. Good evening. My name is Tracy Kegel, and I'm the founder and executive director of Humanity House. We are a grassroots nonprofit that was formed to help the people in Allen County live better lives. I would ask on behalf of the 18% of our citizens that live below poverty, the 40% that live at 200% of poverty, the elderly who live on fixed incomes, the single moms who work two jobs or three jobs, the disabled people living on $750 a month, the people with medical issues, the people who work hard every day and still have to decide between food and utilities or rent, the 400 people a month that we help ha help have food in their homes because there's not enough money to pay rent and utilities and buy food. The 270 families we have helped keep their utilities on this past year by partially paying their utility bills so they could keep their families warm, cook food, take baths, wash their clothing, and flush their toilets. To the 69% of children who receive food or reduced lunches. To all the people who live in rental houses where the only code written is that the house must maintain a 60 degree temperature. It doesn't matter if they have to run their heater at 90 degrees and run two space heaters just to maintain that 60 degrees. 
do not raise utility rates again. This seems to be a go-to remedy for the city of Iola's financial situation. It's punitive to the poor. It is punitive to the elderly. It is punitive to those who struggle to make ends meet while raising families. It is punitive to people with health issues who must have medicine they cannot pay and pay the utility bill also. Please take care of the citizens who entrusted you to make good decisions in their best interests. Please think long and hard about the repercussions for all of the people your vote to raise the utility rates again will affect. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Georgia Masterson. I'm the chairman of the board for Humanity House. I just want to second what Tracy said. Humanity House has paid since the beginning of this year over $56,000 in utility bills. Approximately 260 people. We pay an average of 28 utility bills every month, averaging around $220. any suggestion that those utility rates be increased. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any other comments? All right. I appreciate it. Let's move on to the consent agenda. Has the council reviewed the consent agenda for this evening? I have. Question. Okay. I don't remember that we talked about the uh, utility truck for $75,929. Do we have that I believe that's for the sanitation truck, the trash truck. Um, we talked about that. I think it was the last meeting in May, maybe the first meeting in June, um, and that was approved. That purchase was approved. Um, that money is, um, I believe, all in out of equipment reserve for that fund. So that they already had that money saved back, and that was pre-approved. It just took six months to to get that and in fact I think tomorrow we're going to go get the dump truck that we approved maybe a meeting or two after that so it's been several months so um, that'll be probably on the next appropriations so yep well <laughs> when it takes several months to get those pieces of equipment sometimes yeah it's easy to forget that basically we approved that dump truck um, or the the garbage truck after the, the other one broke down and they were throwing it on flatbeds is that right last year well it was I'm not sure when yeah, it was we, put we how it was put in the budget year. but yeah I don't know is that right they've been putting money back okay yeah okay yeah. all right that's excellent Beverly do you have anything else I don't. okay thank you do you have any other comments or discussion Make a motion to approve the consent agenda. I'll second it. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please raise your right hand. The motion carries. Thank you. <clears throat> Round table, item A, the electric rates discussion. Sid, what do you have for us? Mr. Mayor and members of council, um, Scott Shreve was scheduled to be here tonight. Uh, we are still working on kind of finalizing some of those numbers. I'm trying to get the best numbers um, with the most information that we had because I think if you remember at uh, early on, um, especially during budget time, we were talking that six to eight percent range and maybe having to step it in over a couple of years. Um, we're still, I, I'm not going to make any promises, but it's looking at that it'll be a lot less than that. Um, that we'll need um, that and remember that money that rate increase was to cover kind of the the normal shortfall of revenues versus expenditures and to help try to build up the reserve so that we are in a good financial situation um, if anything were to happen if we need to make um, uh, emergency repairs or something like that which we did with the recent storm uh, with the lines that went down by Russell Stover so that kind of cushion us against things like that. Um, that number, like I said, is part of the thing is, is we've got, we made that ECA adjustment in January. And when we looked at numbers in June, when we were 
working on the budget time, we really only had about three, four months of that actually being in place. And so as we get a little further down the line, um, that adjustment is making um, a bigger difference. And if you remember, we changed that base rate down to try to capture the savings that we were going to have on um, purchase power, or power purchase. And I think last year the ECA was about 1.9 cents per kilowatt hour. And this year, even though we've made that adjustment down, it is 1.5 um, around 1.5 cents has been the average since we made that adjustment. So even though we've made that adjustment so that we could capture some of that savings, some of that savings is actually being passed on to um, customers as well because um, we're not capturing all of that. But anyway, we'll have um, a presentation and more details at the next meeting. Uh, but it's just it's taking a little bit of time and we're trying to get, we'll have all of October's billing in that that analysis and we should probably have um, October's uh, financial report information into that analysis. So we'll have basically 10 months of 2017 to consider in that. Um, I know that Councilman Franklin had asked about previous rate increases and I've, I've got that, I'll present that again, but basically we had, I went back to 02, there was a rate increase in 02, there was another one in, in 2005, which I think that's when they also implemented the ECA, that fuel adjustment, and then we had one in 15 and one in 16. So. So between 5 and 15, we didn't have a rate increase so far? Not from my, the record search that I... So for a decade, we just didn't yep. raise the rates. Yep. Okay. Okay, so that's kind of all I have for tonight. If there's questions or anything, I can try to answer those. But sorry to kind of put it off, but Scott and I felt like it'd be better to have a, everything really nailed down rather than kind of doing a hodgepodge a little bit. So... Thank you, Sid. Do we have any other questions for Sid at this time, or are we good until he comes back? I appreciate the fact that you and Scott are working to really get good numbers. So, you know, I, I mean, I'm like anybody, I pay those bills too. I've got kids that live here that pay those bills. Nobody likes to see those go up. So if we can do our best to keep those increases, if we have to have them, if we can keep them as low as possible, I. I mean, I, as well as everybody else, I'm sure would appreciate that. Thank you, Nancy. Do we have anything else on this? All right, Sid, we sure appreciate it. We'll look forward to the next opportunity. Let's move on to new business item A, the 2017 audit proposal. Yes, Mr. Mayor and members of council, you have a proposal from Jared Gilmore and Phillips to do the 2017 fiscal year um, audit. We uh, had kind of delayed this. We were going to kind of go out for bid, um, but felt like with the time frame, we didn't have enough time. Uh, another thing that we are going to do is for next year when we, we will go solicit some bids for this, is to look at doing our analysis the um, audit a little bit differently for the utilities in particular and to do more of an accrual type um, full gap analysis which basically is a little bit different way of um, of doing the audit it looks at your assets and liabilities and and shows you what your depreciation is each year um, it's kind of the way businesses would do an audit and since those are businesses kind of maybe moving towards that if we feel like it's a um, we can get a good price on on doing that. I've talked to, I think it was Lindsberg, right? Mm -hmm. I think is the one I've been talking to. They do kind of a hybrid where they do just the cash basis uh, or regulatory basis um, audit for the general fund, and then they do this gap gap audit for the um, for the their utilities. And gap stands for the generally accepted accounting principles or practices. Mm -hmm. um, that's what that is, it just is kind of the guidelines on how they do the audit. But we wouldn't do that until that would be, we'd take bids for that next year for the 2018 audit. But I just kind of want to preview that a little bit. All 
like make a motion that we approve the contract with Jared Gilmore and Phillips and authorize the necessary signatures for the 2018, 2017, 2017, 2017 audit. All right, we've got a motion and a second. All in favor, please raise your right hand. Motion carries, thank you. New business item B, 2018 observed holidays. Mayor and members of council, um, you have in front of you a, a holiday list um, that we have for next year. I think part of that is that it's kind of reflective of what the county is doing. Um, it's got a, a little, some extra holidays. I think the usually on Christmas Eve we would just get a half a day. Um, County is going to be closed all day. Sometimes that kind of runs into problems with our trash truck. If we're picking up trash and we don't have anywhere to go, sometimes we just hold it on the truck or hope that we can get everything on the truck and wait till they open back up. And then there's the meeting schedule for the the council meetings. Um, we would be moving the memor the one that would be normally be on Memorial Day to the Tuesday. Same with Columbus Day and Veterans Day, and then canceling the, the second meeting in, in December again next year, like we did this year. Um, I'm not sure that they're federal. Most of them, Good Friday, and maybe the day after Thanksgiving and Christmas Eve Day may not be federal. There's but that. A lot of days if you have days off in and, and again, this this schedule was took what we normally have set up in our um, personnel policy as days off, and basically just uh, the basically the extra is like a half a day on Christmas Eve. If I'm right, is that right, Corey? Okay, I think so. So that would be the only difference that we're we're doing here, and it matches the county as part of the. A lot of families come to town to help their maybe parents and so on and so forth. But, you know, on Christmas Eve, it would be nice if you could be open a half a day to take care of your family. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 They could still pay online, though, is that correct? Yes, if they were to helping them with getting their bills paid or whatever, um, they would still have that ability to do it online anytime, so. I'm gonna make a motion we approve the 2018 holiday list, and then I'll do the meeting one after that so we don't stack them. I'll second that. Okay, we've got a motion and a second. All in favor, please raise your right hand. Motion carries. I'm gonna make a motion to approve the 2018 changes to the city council meeting dates. I will um, second. For May 28th, October 8th. November 12th and canceling December 24th. I will second that as well. All right, we have another motion in a second. All in favor, please raise your right hand. Motion carries. Thank you. <clears throat> all right. Well, John, do you have anything else for us tonight? Uh, thank all the veterans. Thank everyone that showed up for the parade. Um, everyone that participated in it. Uh, thank. I'd like to thank um, everyone putting up the Christmas lights around the square. I know that's a lot of work, and they're doing a great job out there. Very good words. Nancy? Same thing. I mean, I know that those guys that worked on the Veterans Day Parade, I know they put a lot of hours into it, and it does take a lot of people. It was... It was a nice parade. I got to drive a little bitty car in it, if anybody saw me. <laughs> and um, it was really neat also to see the college baseball team carrying the giant flag. The picture in the paper was awesome. So just again, thank you to everybody that supports that, that comes out. And thank you especially to everybody who serves and has served and allows us this freedom to, to have these meetings and to live here. Definitely, definitely. Thank you. Beverly? I'd just like to thank the Iowa Register for printing all the veterans' pictures and information. I thought that was really nice. And other than that, I don't have anything. Okay, thank you. Dawn? 
Uh, I just want to endorse everything that's been said, and I want to thank our city employees. I think the I, th I just appreciate what they did, and they do a lot of work for you. And they, and they do a good job. That's it. All right. Very, very true. Very true. Appreciate it, Michael. Yeah, I know we sound like a broken record up here, but um, just the same thing. Thank you to all the veterans and, and all the people who helped. Uh, yes, thank you, Michael. Aaron. Hmm. Yes, all of that also. And uh, is it official that these gentlemen here will be council members in January? Now, it's not a yeah, it Just in case, early congratulations to you guys. So that's all I have. All right. Thank you, Aaron. Sid, do you have anything else for us tonight? Yes. Um, I put by your um, position there, there's a thank you letter for the Iowa Citizen Scholarship that um, we have through the Allen County or Allen Community College, sorry, um, Endowment Association, uh, and just you know everybody's lighting up the downtown, and we've got the electricity on the square, and we'll be doing, providing electricity for the tops of the buildings, um, just so everybody's aware of that. Yes. <laughs> not, may, not maybe for myself, but for certain people on the staff. And cost. Okay. <laughs> That's all I have. All right. That's excellent. Thank you, Sid. Well done. I'd like to make a motion for adjournment. I'll second it. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please raise your right hands. Motion carries. Thank, uh, meeting adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Rock and roll. Six twenty-three. Rock and roll.